right here in my hands are very important documents. I just discovered something very important about the Bible. The end times and the second coming of Jesus Christ. This will shock you. Okay, I will live in, in the last days. The Bible calls the end times. The book of Daniel 12 verse 4 says, and knowledge shall be increased. We are all seeing it happen right in front of our very own eyes. 2,000 years ago, Jesus was telling his disciples what the world was going to look like at the end of the age. In Matthew chapter 24 and Luke chapter 21, Jesus mentioned wars and rumors of wars, earthquakes and other signs. Almost all the signs are already happening. We are going to use the book of Daniel to see how accurate the Jewish prophet called Daniel was. Okay, so who is Daniel? Daniel was captured under the Babylonian rule from his hometown Israel around 600 BC. He went on to serve under different Babylonian and Persian kings. Daniel was also a man of very great fate. At a point in time, the Bible noted that he was thrown into the lion's den for his bold fate in God, but God preserved him. He also had the ability to interpret dreams and visions. With that being said, let's now look into the book of Daniel. Daniel was in Babylon when he received the vision about the end times. The book of Daniel was likely written between 540 and 530 BC. Let us focus on the prophetic aspect of this book. The book of Daniel talks about the rise and the fall of empires, the coming of the Messiah, and the end of days. This book reveals the plan of God for the whole world and how God is going to victoriously win the battle over evil in the end. In Daniel chapter 2, the prophet Daniel talked about the vision of the statue which foretells the rise and fall of four great powerful empires which include Babylon, Medo, Persia, Greece and Rome. With no doubt, this prophecy by the prophet Daniel was fulfilled with so much accuracy. All of these empires from Babylon to Medo, Persia to Greece and to Rome all rose to power and fell just like Daniel prophesied. Throughout history, Bible scholars have been amazed on how accurate the prophet Daniel was. But did you know that the prophet Daniel did not just stop there? He also prophesied about the current days and current time you and I are living in now. It will be very wise to pay very close attention to what I'm about to expose to you. The book of Daniel talks about the rise of the Antichrist. But more importantly, it also talks about God's victory over evil. So if you are a true believer in Jesus Christ, there is hope even in the midst of all the chaos happening all around the world. God is totally in control. God is in control of every single man. God is in control of every single woman. And God is also in control of every single industry. In order to fully understand prophecy, time and events, we need to understand that history and everyday events do not just happen by chance. That means nothing that happens on the face of the earth happens by chance. History and the future is traveling on a straight line and God God is the one who has drawn that line. You and I are moving on that straight line drawn by God. On that same line, there is a beginning and on that same line, there is an end to all things. As we move out of history and push into the future, the God who drew these timelines lives outside of both history and time. He is in control. He knows every single thing that will happen five to ten years from now. The Bible says in Isaiah 46 verse 10, the New Living Translation says, only I can tell you the future before it even happens. Everything I plan will come to pass, for I do whatsoever I wish. The King James Version says, declare in the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done say my counsel shall stand and i will do all my pleasure our god is both in the past the present and already waiting for us in the future before we get there so he knows the future and he knows the things to come the book of daniel contains god's prophetic timetable revealed to daniel it contains very powerful revelations about the future the end times. God revealed very strange things and unusual things to Daniel. In this video, we are going to focus on one specific prophecy revealed.
revealed to Daniel that has to do with the modern times we are currently living in. Daniel 12 verse 4, the New Living Translation says, But you, Daniel, keep this prophecy a secret. Seal up the book until the times of the end when many will rush here and there and knowledge will increase. The King James Bible version says, But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run through and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. This verse and chapter has been given different interpretations by different Bible scholars. In this video, I will be dealing with just one interpretation of the phrase, Many shall run through and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Or many will rush here and there and knowledge will increase. The first interpretation of the phrase many shall run through and fro and knowledge shall be increased is referring to the rapid form of transportation we currently have right now. In the modern age, the technological advancement we have right now is so huge and is getting bigger and bigger every single day. There is a general increase in the knowledge of mankind. The phrase, many shall run through and fro, perfectly describe the unique worldwide travel in the end times with the use of airplanes, cars, trains, and rockets. We can now travel to the moon, which was never possible 500 years ago. We also have the increase of physical knowledge and the Daniel prophecy perfectly said, knowledge shall increase. We are living in the times where information can be easily accessed. All you need to do is just Google what you want to know or use ChatGPT. No ordinary person from 500 years ago would have been able to comprehend how developed the world has become. We can now print thousands of books at once and we now have electricity, communication systems. There were no televisions, mobile phones, cars, the internet, your laptop. None of these things existed 500 years ago. So imagine if you were Daniel and God was showing you all these things. You won't even know what is happening. You can now talk and connect with anybody anywhere in the world. We are now able to accomplish things that were impossible. The internet has given us a lot of access to connect with each other and share knowledge. But at the same time, we have new forms of internet crime and addictions. Okay guys, listen up. I have been doing some research to know the specific timing of the second coming of Jesus Christ. And I can personally tell you, if you truly search the scriptures, the second coming of Jesus Christ will not take you by surprise. In my next video, I will tell you exactly what I discovered about the second coming of Jesus Christ. You don't want to miss out on what I discovered in my findings. Subscribe and stay tuned. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.